Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. This is the talk show and podcast where we have digital discussions, worlds of TV, film, news, pop culture, everything really depending on guests. Talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Premier Otis. On social media, you know me as Pete Beats, returning guest on Pop Turnative. You will recognize her from a lot of really cool things. Most recently, she is in a web series called Ghost BFF, which was nominated for four Canadian Screen Awards. Dio Horn is back with us. Dio, welcome back to Pop Turnative. Hi. Nice to be back. Yeah, we were saying if it, like if 2020 is kind of a blur, it felt like it, you it was a while ago that you've been on the show, but it's only been like a year or so. so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it made it feel longer, but then also like it was like a non-year. Like every time I want to say something like, oh, it was a year ago, and then I have to think about it. I'm like, actually, it was like two years ago because that time that you spent on your couch, uh, that whole year, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I think we talked about this last time you were on too, in terms of like the amount of content out there right now. And you know, you're a storyteller and an actor. You're working on a lot of different things. You're obviously going to go where the work goes, but it's pretty cool that you're able to kind of like work in like with audio books and web series. Like, have you thought about that? Like the amount of different projects you're able to work on lately? Yeah, no, I, that's one reason why I, you know, have always being diverse, being able to be diverse um, was always really important (laughs) to me um so that i would always be working and i mean i always wanted to get into the audiobook game i don't know really why i think i just like doing it i like reading out loud Mm -hmm. (laughs) and and also like i'll read it and i'm like well i just got paid to read that book like (laughs) (laughs) i just got paid to read um (laughs) but yeah so yeah i like i'm very thankful that i get to do all of these different things on different diverse platforms Absolutely. And we're talking about Ghost BFF, a web series available on YouTube on Kinda TV. Season two is available now as well. Um, There's a lot going on in Ghost BFF. There's a lot of interesting things. And I talked to Vanessa Matsui about it as well. Um, You know, what's this project like working on compared to other projects you worked on in the past, Dio? Um, Well, I loved being a part of this uh, Ghost BFF because... You know, I'd known, me and Vanessa have known each other for 15 years, maybe, um, from the Anglo world in Montreal. And she, I remember hearing about her, this project, and I didn't know anything about it. I just knew it was called Ghost BFF, and I heard about it years and years ago, like nine or ten years ago. And then just seeing every once in a while, you know, like, it pop up somewhere, or her talking about it when I run into her or something, and... And then finally I got to audition for it and uh, I was so excited to play, you know, I, I've always known Vanessa to be really funny. And then she wrote this like funny, but also hits pretty like, hard, rounded, yeah. like beautiful little show, you yeah. know? So being able to um, be a part of it with such, I know it's got like heavy subject matter, but it was important to me to keep my character grounded, you know, a relatable it's cause it's weird. It's like, it's like a fine line. It's like, yeah. Comedy it's, about it's intense. Like I, the subject line, ghost, but it's but really it, funny too. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it is like a lot and like, there's a lot going on in the, subject matter but it is really funny there's a lot of laughs in every mm-hmm. episode it's a bit, is it a little full circle for you as well because you worked on other projects as well and letter kenny of course started as a web series and this is a web series too have you thought about that at all <laughs> um yeah i mean this would be the best if it turned into a tv show like I, yeah. yeah that would we be actually had like trailers and <laughs> you know <laughs> those little things that you kind of take you're like oh yeah we don't have any trailers I take it for granted. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> you know, you've done a lot like random room or something. You, um, you, you've done a lot of roles, a lot of cool roles. And I don't know if you remember, but I was like randomly watching Wayne on Amazon prime and you were in an episode of that. And I like messaged you. I'm like, what? I had no idea you were in this. On which? Uh, Wayne. Remember uh, Wayne oh, yes, on Wayne, Amazon yeah, yeah. prime? But, yeah. um, well, I was going to say, you've done a lot of roles over the years. I mean, but like Tannis, that one, I don't think that's ever leaving you. Like, that's a big one. It's, yeah, no, I 
I love her. <laughs> <laughs> is it has it blown her mind a little bit how many seasons of Letter Kenny there's been so far? It's pretty crazy. Um I mean, yeah, I don't even know what season <laughs> is out. Like, do I call it six or do I call it nine? Yeah. Like, there's so many. I, and I'm not sure why I'm so confused. I think everybody feels like that on the on the show. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Getting back to Ghost BFF, though, the obvious answer to this question is you hope they enjoy it, they watch it. Um, diving deep into it more when they watch it on YouTube, on Kind of TV's YouTube channel, what do you hope they get out of it? Like, what are you hoping specifically well, diving deep into it? people who watch it yeah um i hope that you know the same way that i felt when i got when i got to work on it like looking back i realized it was exactly what i needed at the time that i needed it um i you know it's made it not so tab i mean there's still far like a long ways to go but we're we need to just feel like normal in our mental health and when we're struggling and stuff like that we need to be confident enough to that we're not alone you know and i felt yes. like when i was uh working on it i was like yeah i'm like i'm i don't know it kind of made me tap into like my own issues and i hope that when people watch it they sort of yeah i guess just don't feel alone <laughs> for sure absolutely mm -hmm. It's interesting, too, because in the entertainment industry, a lot of people kind of end up like wearing kind of many hats and doing a lot of different things. Obviously, you know, you're a storyteller, you're an actor. That's kind of what you're focusing on. But do projects like this or, you know, the audiobooks and everything, do you have this kind of appeal to do more creating and like, like being the creator, director, writer, or are you just like focusing mainly on acting these days to you? Uh, no, I have, I've made a short film a long yeah. time ago, almost 10 years ago. And then I'm writing, um, I wrote a first draft of a feature comedy. I wrote, I'm, I'm co-creating this other film, uh, about something with, with a girl who's from my community, actually, she yep. wrote it. Um, and I'm turning my podcast into an animated series. So yeah, I'm definitely doing my own stuff. Absolutely. And it was working on projects like Ghost BFF and Letterkenny, you know, that kind of made me feel like, okay, well, these people are like my age and I almost have, you know, had even more experience than some of them, the people who've created these web series, like at, at the time, you know what I mean? Um, and just because I do anything, like I was, if you look at my resume, sometimes it was like, oh, you were on that. And it's like, yeah, it was a hard month. I needed to pay rent. <laughs> well, no, well, but but even like the amount of work, like stuff, like some, yeah. like, like I said about Wayne on Amazon Prime, like there was, mm -hmm. I guess that was filmed in Toronto. So there's a lot of people I knew that were in yeah. that, but I was just like, really, so I didn't I realize you were in that at all. <laughs> yeah. It was one of those ones where I'm like, like Death Wish, where people will message me and be like, uh, was that you in Death Wish? I just saw you in, and I'm like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> because I forget about these things because it's like, what, one or two days of my life? Yeah. You know it, what I mean? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that like short little thing that I did. It would be fun to do like a Family Feud Dio Horn where it's like like <laughs> 10 projects. Oh my God, if the Trotsky actually, or like Barkskin. See if anybody could see or could name the obscure things that I've been in. Yeah, I'm trying to narrow things down now that I have a child. I can't just be like, yeah, I'll do that thing over there. You know, I can't just like jump on. a. I mean, I just flew on a plane with my baby and that was it was a different experience. I'm I, already a bit of a germaphobe. Yeah. When traveling because you should be. And now uh, it's like completely and now it's like even. Yeah. I'm but trying I mean, to think if there's more. Masks. Everyone was wearing their masks. It was, yeah. I felt I felt OK. And then once we traveled, we got tested every second day. So it was like, mm -hmm. oh, and I'm vaccinated. So I was like, I'm fine. I'm trying to figure out like, because you said like obscure and like, because the ones that I know on the top of your head that you were in aren't like really obscure, like Letterkenny, Barskins. I mean, I don't know if we can call like the Trotsky. Like, are we going to consider that obscure? No, like, that was a great obscure. movie. I that's love that like, movie. That's like love. People love that. No, like obscure is like <laughs> an episode of Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> 
What else did I do? Some movie. I can't even tell you what it's called. Are we going to just like pull up your IMDb right now? We're going to do it. I'm sorry. Movie. We're doing oh, I it. An episode, I did an episode of a French show called Le Ho et Le Bas de Sophie. Okay, no, we're doing this. We're, do, we're, do, we're doing it at IMDb right now. The it, French movie, <laughs> though, that's something I'm like, I hope nobody ever sees that. <laughs> and now I'm talking so about I'm gonna, this So movie I'm going to go... Well, your sugar daddy, who I interviewed Kevin McCormick, you were recently in that, by the way. Not not obscure. I just that was a great movie. I love that movie. You were in that. Yeah, you. So yeah, so you liked it. It was very different. It was different. Don't you find it was very different? Creeped out. I heard. I didn't watch it, but I heard about that. You were in Slasher. You were in Possessor. Mm-hmm. I was. It's a long list, but I'm it's... telling you, there's some obscure <laughs> things that you're like. Really? Well, if I go like all the way, I would get noticed. I I would get. I started getting recognized a lot, like especially on my res and with a certain age demographic. Mm -hmm. But there was people are like, and it was a lot around when I was bartending and and serving and stuff in on my res. And these people would be like, "Are you Spider on Web of Lies?" And it was like this, like Lifetime movie of the week that I did. Well, High Priestess. Three in Immortals. Yeah, people recognize me from that. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> you've also so worked strange. in. You've also worked in in video. You don't limit yourself though in terms of like what you're able to work in. And the thing is, some people like I asked someone this question recently who does like kind of what you. They'll work in like TV, video games, like voice. They do a lot of different things, and they were just like, "Well, it's work." But it's like some people don't are not comfortable like doing a lot of well, different I stuff. Hosted, I hosted this award show two or three years ago and that was one of the things that i was like yes i want to try and do this like the, it was a thing that was like yeah it's work and i got paid yeah but it also was like i've never done this and this is like very much out of my comfort zone of being like next blah 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 blah, blah. you know like wearing like a gown and like you know my hair is all like it was amazing it was it was cool and i did it and i had fun and i got nominated for a cs for a csa Dio, thank you so much for coming on Popternative. I really, it was great to catch up with you. Yeah, thanks for having me. No problem. And uh, people can catch Ghost BFF season two, season one and two on YouTube, kind of TV, nominated for four Canadian Screen Awards, which is awesome as well. So they can check that out. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Um, at Kanye Dio, at K A N I E H T I I O on Instagram and Twitter. Amazing. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Dio Horn and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.